Airman First Class Donahoe joined the Air Force to become an air traffic controller. It was the job that I wanted, so I was really excited when I first found out I was going to do it. I picked it because I wanted something challenging. But she didn't quite understand this kind of challenge. You have to get three positions, and I am certified in the first two. She learned how to do secretarial work. And then ground control and attacks taxi the aircraft to and from the runway. Now, she's one certification short. Local control, that's where the majority of people wash out. It's the air in air traffic control. The hardest part, talking to the aircraft when they're in the air and actually flying. She spent one year in the Air Force, but there's no guarantee she'll make it past the second. I still haven't even gotten to the hardest part of training. It's still a very rare, real possibility that I might not make it. Recently, a fellow airman failed his final certification. Well, it's the third person that I've seen wash out since I've been here, so it's it's, it's real, it's very real, it's, it's scary. But there's a line to get certified, which means for now, she's grounded. Waiting for whenever I can start. Which builds her anxiety. It's hard for me not to sit around and focus on it. But it also gives her time to study harder and focus on her goals. The five level badge is held very highly in our career field. You're not really the only one until you have your badge. So when she's next in line, she's ready to overcome the challenge. I think it'll be really rewarding to have put all that time and effort and hard work into it and then to finally reach it. It'll be kind of unbelievable. And she can enjoy being an air traffic controller. Airman First Class Justin Carnahan, Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho.